Alright, so now that the brains are all modeled, we are ready to go on to the next stage. You'll notice that um, when I modeled them, I used the crease tool to add some definition after using the draw tool to, um, de to uh, add the valleys in there. It's getting pretty late now. I think it's um, sometime after 12, but um, I'm going to keep modeling this guy and show you how to do his eye next. And so to do his eye, we're going to go over to the um, draw and size it down and then add in some creases here. But we're going to turn the sculpt back down to four so we can um, do this quicker. Of course, first we want to size this up and um, eat away a bunch of detail right here. We want to give him sort of a hollow eye look. Maybe a squirrel jumped down from a tree and ate at his eye or maybe something else happened, but um, he definitely hasn't had the best time. So we'll add and maybe add some detail back in right there and right there. I don't know. It doesn't look so great. Um, so next we want to make it smaller and add the cuts in here. Starting those cuts. Bring them down. Make them all scarred and nasty looking. Make it smaller, and it's about time to go up to the next level of subdivision. And we can add all that really tiny scar detail. Here's a question. Do zombies' skin regenerate? Because if they don't, then pretty much anything would be a permanent um, incision or cut. Technically it wouldn't be a scar because a scar is a mark on the skin that um, never healed back to its normal vitality, but uh, it would still be permanent for a zombie to get a slash or to decay. So that's an interesting thought to me. <laughs> um, or at least, it sounds impressive to talk about it, so maybe you'll think it's an interesting thought. I'm sorry. All right, let's continue on here. Keep adding some creases, and pretty soon our guy will be ready to um, go on to the next part. Now what we can do is we can add the crease tool to tighten up those cuts. Not that much, just a little bit. We'll make it less powerful. Just kind of tighten up those cuts some. Make it a bit more dramatic. All right, so that's the detail for enough for the eye. Um, of course, to add enough contrast, we will make this eye a bit um, more sad because this zombie is very sad. He um, ate his wife and his dog and his cat, and um, he still has some sort of ethical morality stuck in his brain enough so he goes, you know, life really sucks about now because I just ate everything I loved, except for my Xbox, but, you know, who knows, I might eat that next. So he's pretty depressed, but, you know, you can't blame him. Everyone would be depressed if they realized how sickening it would be to be a zombie. Actually, the best tool right now would be the uh, fill tool, and we can just fill this in some. could fill some of this in as well. Not too much, but just some right there. And 
then um, maybe add a little bit of eye detail right here, the bottom eyelid going on. And, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, what we want to do though is we want to turn it back to this curve, this S curve. Decrease the power there and um, just add some more poof to his cheek. Smooth it away some. Smooth that back. And then it'd be good to add a little bit of a crease right here. Turn it down and just crease that in right there for that part of the eye right there, that'd be good to have that bottom eyelid creased in and that part creased as well. Okay, so we have him looking sad and we have another eye very big and open and kind of nasty. Um, we can now go over here and smooth this down some. Of course, what we'll wanna do, is probably be good to turn on X symmetry right now and um, Add a little bit more cheek detail going on here. And smooth that out some. It's being so slow. All right. We do want to bring the mouth back some and up. Then bring this cheek part out some. And um, bring that in there. Smooth it out some. And add a little bit more detail around the top of the lip. Get the little Cupid's bow right there. Right here we'll have the Cupid's bow. And um, let me see. Probably be good to use the flatten tool to get a um, sharper ridge right here for the top, for one part of the lip and get that sort of thing going on for the top lip as well and add some more right here and then use that tool again to kind of sharpen things up. All right, so subtract a little bit right there and the mouth is looking a lot better now. We'll save that as again real quick and um, we will move on to his ears and we still have the X symmetry turned on so we'll, we're good for that point and we'll load the ear and um, finish out the detail here we want to go to our draw tool subtract and subtract that part from the ear sum subtract that in of course smooth it out some and um, grab it and even it out a little bit more. And then go in here and add all that extra detail that we couldn't quite get on the layer below. So as you can see, this part actually comes over and then down. This part comes under. This part isn't quite this big actually up, up here, so add that in some up here. Bring that down, smooth that out a little bit. Let me see. It actually curves around here, so we'll smooth this out some. And then we'll um, add a little bit of detail coming around here. By the way, I'm using D to jump to my draw tool, my draw brush. Um, 
So there's a little bit more detail right there. And um, we'll add a little bit of contrast up against the wall of the ear here. But first, we need to subtract a little bit more up. Add the, increase the intensity so it doesn't take forever to add this detail. And I'm bring that around and get that sh sharp overlapping edge right there. And, and then um, I guess we could inflate the edge of the ear some. So we can use the inflate tool to increase that size a bit. Smooth out some. Oh, wrong tool. Smooth it out some. And then use this to sort of flatten this area some. Now this ear is very bumpy still. Um, but uh, still a bit better than it was before. Add that region right there. And we're pretty good to go. Okay, so that's enough on the ear for now. The ear is still a bit rough, and um, if you'd like, you could go in and add some more detail to the ear and um, polish it up some more. But for our needs, um, that's about enough for the ears. We do want to bring them down, so we'll grab, use the grab tool, size it up enough, and um, not get it too big. Bring it down to about there and maybe even bring it in some. I have it set to anchored right now. Let's go back to space and um, bring it in some. Hmm. Now we'll leave it as is. Okay, so the ear is done. And next we will um, add some cracks in the head and the goo coming out. And then at the final step, we will add um, all the stitches and textures, texture um, brushes on top of that. So.